Hello all. What's going on? Are you ready? Are you ready for today? I'm trying to get some. I've been in, embedding my my YouTube videos into my blog, and I realized I haven't done it in a bit. So I'm like catching up, but I'm looking for all the links. So. Laura's here. Yes. Hello, Heather. How are you doing? Mm. I have my door open and it's driving my dog crazy. Well, it was. Now he's just sitting there staring at me like, why are you talking about me? So what's everybody working on today? Sorry, excuse me. I need to warm up my coffee. I, what I had scheduled on my to-do list today, I got done yesterday. So now I'm like, what do I do? So now I'm like just doing the little things, you know, that come up that, that need to be done that I've gotten behind on. I'm expecting a Amazon package tomorrow of just art supplies. But I'm wondering if they're going to come because when you check the tracking, it says, okay, Monday it was in Lenexa, which is like 150 miles, 200 miles from here. And then it went to Colorado, which is a totally different state, and like, I don't know how many hundreds of miles. And then it came back to Lenexa early, early this morning. And then it went back to Colorado again. So I'm, I'm not really expecting it to actually arrive tomorrow. Hello, Inca. How are you? Hello, Stephanie. I'm so glad you all are here. Stephanie, I was going to dye my hair this morning, but I had a slow start, so I was going to do during sprints, but now I have a my oh, I hate the oh, migraine that I'm waiting for meds to go. Oh, yuck. I'm sorry. That just sucks. Hi, 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 hi. Uh, just finished teaching for the day. Yes. Welcome, Jenna. I'm relieved for you. <laughs> Inka's working on final fixes of book three today. Hopefully, I'll get, get it done in the session. Then I can move on to the formatting. I finished the beta course on basic drawing skills. I think I've got everything situated enough for the first go around, you know, like the test. Um, so I'm wondering, I mean, I've already got it all into a PDF, but I need to edit it into, so I can use the information for book format. So I think I'm I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just thinking aloud. Um, Laura, Laura is is taking care of another task. On the thank you. Um, I got my oldest daughter and I have matching mugs of this. I got it from a local coffee shop. The local coffee shop. They have an awesome like gift section. I mean it's. They have um, they have the little notebook, the little field notes, notebooks, and the, the bigger ones and the field notes, and they have all kinds of like stationary type stuff. It's really cute. I love that coffee shop. <laughs> Sorry, I just hate hate dealing with that stuff. Thank you, Stephanie. But I'm glad you are taking care of it. I take care of it. I just don't like doing it. Oh, that's right. The hospital didn't help. Yes. Yeah, it's um, rather fitting, I thought. I I usually try and hold it like this so that the 
you know, because I know some people are offended by the language on it. So, schedule another appointment. Okay. It is beautiful here. I know I have a hoodie on, but it was like 62 degrees in the house when we got up this morning, and ne neither one of us wanted to turn on the heat. Um, so we just decided to bundle up and wait till it got warmer. It is supposed to be like 75 degrees and sunny all week. All week. There is a chance of rain on Friday, but I can I can live with the chance of rain between now and yeah, yeah. This means I might be able to go outside and do some work. Like um, I can do, take my laptop out. I did for that day, but the next day my paint. Oh, I know everybody probably says, "Have you tried? Have you tried Botox?" Or is that something that would even help? Boy, well, that's my big goal for today: schedule medical stuff. I should have scheduled them. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just, uh, I'm also obsessively watching the Daybell, Daybell trial stuff. I cannot believe. I haven't been watching any, any stuff like that. I've been, I've been as obsessed with watching YouTube videos on car camping because I'm thinking like this week, if I was ready to go, it would have been perfect. But um, I could go places in my car and do and write and do artwork, plein air stuff, wherever I wanted to. And then I could camp in my car. I mean, I know there's limitations to where you can park. And, but I looked at like my, there's one park that's near my daughter. It's a state park. And it's like $3 a night um, to stay there. I think it's all together. It was like maybe $10, $10 to stay all night. And that means I could paint outside all day. I could take Poncho for walks and, you know, I could take my, my MacBook and, you know, it's just, I have an SUV. So I'm thinking of converting it. It's rainy here. We have uh, less than two minutes before the first sprint. I deal with it in my fiber painting too. It'll be okay though. I know it will be. My doctors, uh, at least your doctors are in your corner and not just. Now, do you know what triggers them? Laura had one last night, but I think it's the pain from sinus and the air that set me off. Our coyotes around here have been going crazy. We heard them twice last night where they were like, they sound, I know the sound carries, but they sound really close. And of course it drives Poncho crazy. And I, we have a doggy door. So if we're not already in the bedroom and the door is shut, I have to like grab her because she'll go out, she'll go outside. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to deal with that. Chronic pain is difficult, and it's hard to explain to others. Sometimes with my mom, I feel like, look, when I complain, it's because it's bad, not new. I don't mind hearing them. It's it's the fact that Poncho goes outside and thinks he's a big, tough dog. We're, it's fenced-in area. 
but um, I just it makes me nervous on for his sake. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If it was and I live in a really rural town, a community, and I guess people have been seeing him during the night all over town. Welcome. How are you doing? D De Delayra. Delayra. That's pretty. I don't think I've heard that one before. We need to get started on the first sprint. So let's get going. And even if it's just you getting situated for the next sprint, I will see you all in 20 minutes. Let's do this.
I didn't hear the kitty. I heard the, I heard my, I thought it was my phone that chimed. I'm sorry. Have it turned up? Okay, it's back. Sorry, folks. I'm sorry. Oh, that's awful. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Cherry. How are you? Oh, the doggo may have been. May has been walked, and I did some thinking on my story while I did that and talked to a neighbor. That sounds like a productive spread. I went and made a blended vanilla chai latte. Very, very cold. Blended vanilla. It doesn't have as much flavor. Look at that. I don't know. You probably can't see it. You got me spilling it. It's like really thick. I went and bought one at a coffee shop the other day, and it was so sweet. Not the local coffee shop. It was at a Scooters. And I and I just wasn't, um, I don't know. I'm not, I wasn't used to how sweet it was. It was almost like eating ice cream instead of, I didn't hear it. I, I had. I must have had mine turned down too low. <laughs> Poor kitty. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, folks. Yeah, I didn't hear it. I I was editing video yesterday and with in the same room as my husband, so I had the sound turned way way down. Yay! You got it done. Delebra, am I pronouncing that correctly? I'm scrolling back to make sure it's that is how you said. What are you working on today? Oh, okay. I assume that was probably my no. <laughs> Laura is listening to a recorded phone call. I cannot believe this. Oh, oh. it is. It's really good. I'm. I usually don't do blended ones at home. Because, uh, I mean, look at this. This is the top. Look at that. Um, I don't know why. I, I don't think I thought my little blender would do it enough, but apparently it did. I mean, it's like, I use milk, but it's like whipped cream. That's, how, that's about the consistency of it. With matcha. Hello. Hello, Stephanie. How are you? What are you working on today? I'm surprised at how good it really is, Heather. I this is more like what I wanted from scooters. Not that theirs was bad, it was just too sweet for my taste. I'm trying to cut back on. <laughs> yeah, made foam. I'm trying to cut back on sugary things. I haven't lost anything, but I know it's healthier for me. Hello. Ooh, vanilla chai. I love, I love getting blended vanilla chives. Mm. 
and I got the, come to think of it, I got the the same flavoring that Starbucks uses. I can't think of the brand. But you can get it at like Walmart and it's like a concentrate. It does have sugar in it though, but I bet that would be so good like that. Caramel macchiato. Mm. Um, when my daughter, my oldest daughter, gets something at Starbucks, it's the mocha caramel macchiato. And um, we went to a, when I go, go see the kids, I only go about once a month or so. But when I go, um, my treat for myself is to get coffee at like a Starbucks when I'm there. Because we don't have a Starbucks around here. Um, but I went to a, not Duncan. What's the other one? Tim Horton? No, that's not right. Anyway, I went to a different place and it was it was so much cheaper than Starbucks. It was a chain, but I can't think of what the name of it was. Yeah, I, I put a teaspoon of sugar in this, just to kind of take off the edge of the matcha and yeah. Oh, that is so good. I'm going to start doing it like that all the time. And with summer coming up. Yeah. I started to journal. And then I looked at my coffee cup. Initially went in to warm up my coffee. <laughs> and then it became, oh, let's just switch it to. Using milk, I did not expect it to to do that in my little blender. Mortimer is just collapsed on the back of the couch and he's fine. You don't love me on that post. <laughs> um, I don't know who made it. Um, there's no like imprint on the bottom. I got it at a, a local coffee shop. That's independently owned. I got my daughter and I matching ones. <laughs> I don't think they have them anymore. Um, they used to have all kinds of them. And now the ones that they have are, um, they have like the candles with the smart aleck sayings on them. And the, the coffee cups. I, ha I don't, I haven't seen <laughs> you don't think people would be offended me using the F word? Oh, and I don't know about, um, since it's a heart breathings. Speaking of heart breathings, if you are not a member, I would strongly suggest you go check them out. We put the calendar up here like I do. Heart breathings. If we've got a couple of new people, um, if you're not a, I will talk about it next time. I'm gonna go ahead and start the um, next sprint, and I will see you in 20 minutes.
How did you all do? Yeah. How did you all do? <laughs> Laura. Laura's still editing her first book. I have not gotten on a roll with it, but I should. It's the, just line edits I need to get in. It's probably because it sounds boring for you. It's not challenging. Maybe if you only did them like during sprints or something. I don't know. You can do it. We know you can do it. It's just motivating yourself to do it. Yeah. Delilah. 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 Thank you. Delilah. Very awesome. Sounds like fun. What are you all working on? I am trying to, I have a, a board meeting coming up for the local art gallery, and I'm trying to figure out when it is. I think it's the 26th, but I'm not sure. Could be. I need. I need to look at notes to see if it's next week or the week after. I don't know. But I'll figure it out. And I'm working on journaling at the moment. And I have a stack of stuff right over there that I need to go through. I haven't used my foam or thing in a while. I'm continuing to write on the novella writing to create a new menu. I need that is one of those things that I have on my to-do list that just keeps getting pushed forward is my lead magnet. I just keep for my nonfiction. And I know it's it's awful. I should it shouldn't be a problem. But my book is a paranormal mystery, cozy style, like if magic just hang out in the real world. All right, urban fantasy. So I'm supposed to be coming up with book two in my series right now. But yeah, but that's just something you can't help. That's where I got it, the books. Ah. Heather has a hand blender. I wonder if low calorie almond milk would foam up like regular wood. Mine is one of those little ones, you know, that has like the cup thing on top of it. And then you. I bet it would. If my little cheapy, I mean, really, it was really cheap. If mine would, I bet it would. Magic is still secret from the humans. This particular village is magical. Ooh. Laura, you need to have me. You need to let me write, read it. <laughs> I think. Speaking of which, um, Heart Breathings. Heart Breathings, if you are not a member, I would strongly suggest that you go check it out. It is an amazing group. I know we have some new people here today. Um, I don't know if you found me through Heart Breathings or if it was um, on YouTube, but this is the calendar for Heart Breathing Sprints. Um, Heart Breathings has a Facebook group, and you can find the link in the description. It's a wonderful support group if you're a writer or a creative. It's just chef's kiss seriously it is i wish i had had it 20 years ago 
it's uh, ran by Sarah Cannon, who does HB90 and Publish and Thrive. And she's also a very prolific author in that she has numerous books out. You need to probably, you need to check her out on YouTube or not YouTube, but Amazon. Um, I don't, I, there's not enough good I can say about heart breathings. One thing I can add is that at the half hour or the half of the sprint, we like to remind you, which is right now, to get up and walk around, get something to drink, get something to snack, because we've been sitting here for an hour if you haven't gotten up. And sitting is the new smoking, as they say. So... And Poncho agrees. I heard voices. I thought somebody was just walking by. Hey. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Do you want to come here? No? You didn't want to come here. It's cool enough today. I actually have jeans on. There are some other important links in the description if you haven't checked it out. Tim, no. See, it wasn't Tim Hortons. Was it? Because isn't that a Canadian? Isn't that the Canadian one? I find that oat milk foams better than almond for what it's worth. I don't know. I have been using just regular milk milk. How's everybody doing on their Camp Nano? Um, that's another thing. Sarah has a download that you can get on Author Reset to kind of regroup, I guess, for the second quarter or for whatever whatever position that you're in. It helps get your thinking around just regrouping things. And sorry, I keep seeing Timmy Hose, and I'm thinking Dutch Brothers. That's what it was. It was Dutch Brothers. Sorry. <laughs> Back to Sarah. Um, there's a download. It's a PDF. Um, if you go to the group, I'm sure there's a link in it in Heart Breathing's writing group. Stephanie. I think I've heard that one. Don't forget to get up and walk around, people. I am as soon as I, I hit mute, I'm gonna get up and walk around. Magical cozy mystery sound fun. But yeah. I love to music. Every time we visit in Maine, I always get it. Timmy O's. <laughs> Thank you. Going through the first batch of fixes. You got this. It is fun to write. Magic is the answer for lots of things, from casual to the final battle. You know, Amazon or Cafe Press will have something similar if you need it. Hmm. But the bright yellow is, you know, that's, that's true. I bet you can find these on Amazon. I'll look, and if I can find it, I'm not an Amazon affiliate. Um, if I find it, I'll put it up. I think of using that mug at my old job. At <laughs> Mine ether. I worked at a public library. <laughs> Most of the patrons would just laugh and say, yeah, that's fitting. But, yeah, there's always going to be those ones that I've had people come up. i would had people come up and complain because there was uh, one F word or 
one one hell or, yeah okay all that is our sound to start the next sprint and let's get going i will see you all in 20 minutes
How did you do? I think we need to do an extra sprint or two, too. I'm just, I'm messaging my husband to see. Um, I, I got ahead. I got some, my editing done yesterday that I had scheduled for today. So I think I'm going to do a few household tasks, too, that that um, I've been putting off. So I was just texting to see if there was anything he wanted done. Nope, he got it done. And I looked at Amazon. They had other ones, but they don't have this exact one. They had the same mug, but it had no writing on it. So but there were other ones with that saying that were yellow. Sunshine with a lot of cussing. <coughs> I've always taught at Catholic schools or been a therapist. That would be an, uh, yeah. Did I ever tell you that I was asked to teach art at a Catholic school? Hey Heather, I've been debating eating a Reese's egg for a bit for a treat. I might after getting some more Reese's. <laughs> it would make me laugh. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah. I'm going to love the cross stitch that a friend did for me that says, I don't speak profanities i say them clearly like a fucking lady uh and i heard that aloud sorry that yeah uh, a mug that like that would have conversations <laughs> i saw kids too i had to learn especially in group that well profanity doesn't bother me it does does other people so it wasn't appropriate in that setting most of the time we had to have a discussion with my oldest grandson um his parents let him cuss which isn't a problem for me. And he doesn't do it like excessively. It's just, he uses it, he uses it appropriate, put it that way. But um, there's one phrase that my, my husband finds very offensive and I can understand why. And so we had to have the discussion of, you don't say that around people that it would offend because, you know, uh, because people who were offended would feel pressure to let it go, and that would make me feel, ah, uh, you know, got to be PG to, you know, people in one-on-one -on -one group therapy, you just always have to be. I'm the kind of person who sometimes doesn't hear it unless it's beautiful, you know. My brother introduced us to his girlfriend this weekend. Yay! She doesn't like swearing, so I held my tongue because I'm like that too. I, it's just words with various meanings to me. Um, And really, as the therapist, I pretty much always have to be PG unless there's a real reason not to be. It has to be intentional. Well, as teacher or therapist, everything has to be intentional. It's one of the reasons that those professions can be tiring. Dinner time for Inca. Everybody say goodbye to Inca to enjoy. Thank you for being here, if you can still hear me. I appreciate you. Um, my last good therapist knew he could say fuck him to me when I was worrying about other people's thoughts about me. Yeah. Exactly. That was language you understood and related to. It makes sense. It's not that I never said any something like that to a client. Sometimes that's exactly what they needed to hear. Yeah, and that's part of what made him so good. I start with a new one next week, my second try. Since this last good therapist crossed fingers. Oh, I hate that aspect. I haven't been to a therapist in, in a long time. But I see an, I see a, a new doctor on, well, next month. And just the whole process of finding somebody you, yeah, I just... My last one was awful. She would only engage with me when I said something about being fat. Or, weight is usually a symptom, but when you deal with other things, weight often takes care of itself. And my big thing is my fibromyalgia makes it hard to exercise. It's another thing we're working on. I've started yoga-ing yoga at night and at my dad a morning practice. Well, that 
that's cool. I was telling hubby this morning, I think that I just have to accept this is this is this is what it's gonna be like. Because I keep saying I'm going to and then I'll stick to it for a little while and then you know, and I've wasted so much energy on it that just uh, Laura, I have my own issues with weight and binging to deal with anxiety. And so when things are better, I naturally start to lose. Even as a therapist, it's hard to sort it out. I never push someone. Even though this stuff is not healthy, I mean, I know it doesn't help my other health issues, but when I'm managing other things, yep. I need to start doing yoga too. I went through Amazon and added a bunch of shorter things to my watch list. I act like I don't have time because YouTube watching is so much more important. <laughs> yep. I understand. Yeah, that, it, it does. These these sprinting sessions just, boom, just go by so quick. And um, I haven't finished what I sat down to do this afternoon, so... I would like to do two extra sprints. I would like to go till four o'clock my time. So if anybody wants to join me, that would be wonderful. Self-care wind down from work was needed. Hello, Cecilia. How are you doing? What nonfiction are you doing? I don't remember. Stephanie got 333 words. Motivation. Yep. I'm revising. I got through 336, 1286 words in chapter 12 of my novel. Yes. Good job, Rita. I think we need glitter while we have time. Don't we? Don't we need glitter? We need confetti. We need confetti. Comments just skipped. I'll let one of my minions get the confetti, get the broom out. Hello, Tracy. How are you doing? What's going on? Yes, yes. Yes. Well, I have written words. I'm not using the nano site, but I did create a goal to write 10,000 words in my novel this month. Awesome. Jen, Jen loves Dutch Brothers. Dutch Brothers was what I was trying to think of. Tim Hortons is what, what she meant by uh, Timmy Ho. Rita's happy with her revisions from camp. Poncho! Poncho! Yeah, that's true. Yay! Oh, what'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? <laughs> what'd you get? I'm really anxious about my Amazon order of art supplies. I got, um, I got like the big set, um, mint, I always mispronounce it, Mungio, um, oil pastels, and some acrylics, and some cinnamon and something else, a sketchbook. This somebody recommended because I'm on a, I'm on the sketchbook hunt. Three hundred and two words after taking a walkabout. Yes, good job. Ninety two words in four minutes. You go. Yes, please. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Okay.
okay, let's start this next sprint. I will see you all in 20 minutes.
did you do? Whoops. Let me show you something. I just think it's cool looking. It's just some cheap um, touch jewel tip. I just thought they were, they were, I don't usually use markers for like art stuff. But I got a good price on these, so I got a smaller set. I just thought the colors just look. Oh. I can see using that in planning too. Let's see, I have a, yeah. I mean, you've got, yeah. I guess you. One of my doctors after a stint in the hospital, medical not mental, told me to get your shit together or meet an early grave. Don't make me keep care. I've known <laughs> Did you listen to her? Heather, I was thinking about using the census to improve descriptions this morning. This might be a good content idea for me. Very cool. Sometimes that is exactly what you need. My therapist used to tell me, don't make me hit you over the head again. <laughs> <coughs> I know it's three o'clock, but I'm going to go ahead and do two at two sprints, and just in case you, you anybody missed it. Oops! It's amazing how difficult body beats started to be for me. Not repeating too much or sounding weird. Adding senses is senses is to that senses to that is helpful. I was adding up some words and reading over my last few writing sessions. I got the dice and all charged up. Yay! Well, you reminded me I haven't. Um, I didn't write down what I did this sprint. And if I don't. I don't do it when I'm thinking about it, it's gone. Cecilia's working on a new blog that I've been dreaming. Oh, have you got it or have you got it up? Do you have it started? Is it something we can check out? Or do you want us to check it out? I lost my buffer after a few days of low words, fighting to get it back. Oh, you got this. Very exciting, Cecilia. Yep, that is. Does anybody use um, what is the the newer S sorry, um, somebody had sent me one. All right, somebody I follow has one. And stacking, St stacker, stacking. Uh, I split up most of my chapters during this revision. I'm keeping one point of view per chapter. Before I had two or three within a chapter with dividers. Uh, that's a major task. So now I'm like in the word, higher word count for the chapters. Uh, do you like black or white paper? I haven't used a lot of black paper. Um, I probably should get some. And I've thought about like the craft paper. I have I have some sketchbooks that I made that have craft paper in them and different types. Um, I haven't I haven't broke into them yet. But for, for, for sketchbooks, I like the like really heavy, the heavy like Bristol type paper. Um, I do, 
I've, I've, I've done acrylics on them. I've done pastel. Here's a, yeah, it's, a, it's an acrylic. Yeah, it's an acrylic master study. And then there's some, um, I've done very little. No, there's, there's pastels in here. There's some charcoal. But I like I like the heavier paper because it gives, just gives me more options. There's another acrylic, acrylic, acrylic. There's a lot of master studies uh, in here, and some landscapes in pastel that I did. Anyway, I I prefer the I prefer heavier paper if possible. simple pastel that I did like real simple it's just of the Flint Hills in Kansas I want to do a whole series of them and that's one reason I'm thinking of the whole um, turning my car into a overnight camper thing just really basic stuff Here's the last one. Did you some of you might recognize this one? I had it on my. I did it. Yeah. I won't go through all these. They have a um, a challenge on Instagram, a food painting challenge. That's what that one was from. But anyway, I got sidetracked. Um, white. <laughs> Half an hour later, white paper. A uh, really like nice black sketchbook from Amazon. Do you know who it was? Who made it? What the brand was? It's stamps from an Etsy shop. Lots of magical ones. Ooh, toadstool flowers. I really liked. Oh, that sounds fun. I think you should. My numbers for haul videos has been a lot high, or has been high. Uh, the first one I did. Last time I looked, it had over 3,000. Oh, I'm in the wrong account. I have two accounts. I have one on one for art and one for But yeah, the, the unbox, and I'm go not going to be doing any more unboxings after I get the Amazon one for a long, long while because um, I, I need to use up stuff I've got. It has 4,000, 4,000, 4.2K is what it's saying. 4,255 uh, for the worst, first one. And then the rest of them have like two or 300. But I know I had a, I got a big jump in my subscribers on that one. My goal is to reach a um, thousand subscribers by the end of June. Um, I've been wanting to try black water for now. It seems heavy. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I love using black paper with gold silver white. I prefer it over white and cream. I also like craft paper. Up, oh, we've got like 20 seconds before the next sprint. So, um, Tracy got 538 words. Yes, Jenna crossed 16,000. Awesome. Good job, ladies. You're welcome, Inka. Yes, congrats, J Jenna. That's wonderful. Heather says she likes to look at Metalli. <laughs> Okay, let's get, go ahead and I will mute and get going. 
I will see you all in twenty.
too. So how did you all do? I skipped past a bunch of uh, comments. Um, oops. Uh, I use tabletop RPG style dice rolls to help me write my battle scenes. And poly D and D, some of my dice are resin, and they were exposed. Oh no! So they're weight redistributed. Oh, that just bites. I'm sorry. Uh, you guys are making me want to pull out my watercolors. It's been ages since I painted. That sounds like fun. Igor's just yeah. Laura, that is fun. Soul Raider, you need dice that are not marfed up when you play. All right, I need to pack it up and get to the bus stop. Thank you for being here, Heather, Laura. Okay, friends, thank you for everything. I'm headed off to my parents. Have a good one, Laura. Thanks for being here. Yeah, no consecutive rolls of one through five when I need a 15 or more to make the spell work. Yeah, you need new ones for sure. Toodles. Uh, but I will take you guys along with me via my iPad. Oh, good. <laughs> I do that in the car, too. I'll have it playing in the background instead of like a radio. I'll, yeah, take my phone. Take care, all. Need to head out to pick up the husband from work. Get those words. Yes. Today is the 10th. We are a third of the way through the month. Uh, one, four, four, five. 1829 and only about a page to finish the revisions. Yes, I started with 1320 words before this round of revisions. Yes, you've got this. So close. Stephanie reread what I have planned so far and did a little tweaking so it works with the later books. Ready to dive back in. Stephanie got in 150. I think I'm done with this story for right now. I'm going to work on my newsletter with the last spread. Almost done reading, only seven chapters left, then I can get back to writing. Teresa got 595 words. Yes. You people rock it. This next sprint will be our last sprint. If you haven't gotten up um, since I, last time I said <laughs> I suggested you get up, I would get up um, because you've been here for an hour and a half. If you got up at the halfway point of our normal sprints and get the blood going again. trying out these oil pastels that I got that are cheap cheap and I thought they were better than what they are when I tried them out yesterday. Some of them are like gummy. You know, I can't use those in in projects. I don't like gummy. Stephanie, that's fine. Yay, everyone's doing so well. You could get some more fixes done. Good job, people. It's a productive afternoon. I think, well, I know <laughs> I need to vacuum. I mean, I've been really ignoring it. I've been focusing on other things. And then I can sit down and work on 
Sorry, I'm not taking the break break. I'm, I, I've got to get these done. Um, then I can work on the, in Google Docs of my notes. And I've got to get, got to get updated. I know I got things done yesterday that I was going to do today, but I think I need to instead of instead of doing random things. I think I just need to get get ahead of the game. And my day is is early enough. It's early enough in my day that I could make a big impact on getting things accomplished. I'm not a morning person, so. Afternoons and evenings are more my work time. So what's everybody's goal for Nano? Has anybody changed theirs? From what you initially... Did you like make... Discover that you could do more than what you put down? Or... Realized you put down too much? I saw people, a couple of people said that they had gotten some things from Timu. Um, oh, I already said that. I already said that I'm going to not buy any more for a while. Any more art supplies in general. After I do this one's gummy. Um, just because I need to use up what I have. I got rid of excess a while back and then I really got into oil pastels and I've been I've just kept going because it's you know how it is when the iron's hot And I'm curious about all these different brands. Oops. Uh, Stephanie, I just hope the whole thing, uh, I just get the, okay, cool. Uh, mine is 20K and I'm not sure I'll have time for that many words. I might change my goal after this weekend. H how many are you getting, have you gotten done so far? Kelly, how many have you gotten done so far? Stephanie, I was originally hoping to write some too, but it's been a bad pain cycle. I'm still sometimes having trouble with my career. Oh. Yeah, as you should. You should be kind to yourself. I'm glad I'm glad you're doing that. Rita, Miranda Magic. I started with 40k of revisions, but I changed it after a couple of days to 50k. Revising has been easier for me than fresh words. It could be because I haven't worked on this other project for over seven years. Talk about getting fresh eyes. Yeah. Jenna, I sit Nano at 50K out of habit, but I'm so far so good. Kids are testing, and I don't have to project proctor anymore, but they're out, so stress levels are lower. Very cool. Yes. Still stands at 50K, but I prefer a finished first draft. Ah, uh, you all are making me look bad. I need to get on the stick. Maybe, no, no, maybe. Today is going to be catch up day. Uh, do ahead, do all I can day. I know I've gotten some things done during the sprints. But I've let household tasks just kind of, and I need to do some editing of text and Google Docs and Scrivener. I've got to get it over in Scrivener. That's what I need to do. Yep. 
I need to adjust my goals. <clears throat> hey. I'm sure it's probably just a bird or a squirrel that she's barking at. Or he's barking at. <clears throat> 3K, and it looks like I said, so doing a mix of revisions and new scenes. Oh, you've, it's, it, you're only a third of the way into the month. No, you do use it a goal that works for you. The thing is, I got stuff done yesterday that I was going to do today. So I, I need to keep up the momentum instead of getting sidetracked. And speaking of which, I will see you all in 20.
right, folks, how did you do? Let's see, Tracy needed to run. Andrew, welcome for the for the extra sprints. Hello, how are you? We are just on our way out. That was our last one. Okay, all. Thank you for being here. You know I think you rock. Excuse the pastels on my hands. <laughs> I got everything swatched, though. So. I will see you hopefully on Thursday. And yes, hello, Mama Maggie. And this was a productive afternoon for me, and I want to keep it going. So I will see you all hopefully on Thursday. Take care. Be safe. Thank you for being here. It, it wouldn't work if, yeah. So thank you. And I will see you all soon. Have a great day. If it's nice where you are, get out.